Hey guys, long time, no talk. I know, I know, I know. So, it's a rainy day and Saturday today. And I just want to tell y'all um, a little bit about my day today and what's been going on. Where I've been MIA and kind of stuff of what's going to happen over the next couple of months. Because I'm probably just going to be MIA for a bit. So, this morning I woke up to a flat tire. Um... It wasn't like flat flat, but I got in my car and it said it was 24 PSI. It's supposed to be a 32. And so I have this, um, which y'all would have seen in like my Amazon haul video. I have this little thing and I got to use it today. Pretty simple, but I swear to God, I was like, bro, it's taking forever to get the car up because like it was a 24 and so it went up to 25 and then it went to 26, 27. Once it got to 27, it kind of like went down a little bit and went back up or whatever. So once I got done airing the tire up, um, I moved my car forward a little bit so that I can check the see where there's a nail there because clearly there was a nail. Um, and then I went door dash about an hour and a half and then I had called Toyota and was like, hey, do I have tire service, the tire package? And it was like, yeah. So basically I just left the dealership. Um, it's 12.28 p.m. Saturday and I got there by like 10.30. He's, he put me on the schedule for 11, but since I was already out in the bed, I was like, I'm just going to go up there. So I just left there. Of course, it was free of charge. So they put the spare tire on there because I have to order my tire and it won't be there until Monday. So then I get my tire. And so, yeah, that's how my morning went. It kind of messed up my whole plan. So basically, I'm sitting at home all this weekend. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. Oh, hold on. <laughs> okay, so sorry for my thumb, y'all. So I forgot to tell y'all um, that I got a part-time job. <laughs> so I think that's what the title of this video is going to be like a life update i got a part-time job day in my life type of situation um <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in the house and open up my windows because like it feels good outside and i need some fresh air in my house and then i'm gonna clean up so what i'm gonna do is do a voiceover for like all of that part so i could just kind of explain to y'all what's going on and stuff like that but yeah started my morning with tire issue i was gonna work all day but i do work tonight um so i got a job at a hardware store um and i haven't worked in retail in a long time so i didn't know how i was gonna feel about it but i did it for logistics so i wanted to be a stalker i don't want to be a cashier but anywho they told me that i'm gonna to have to be a cashier at some point because i'm gonna to have to cross train so i'm hoping that they don't try to put me on a schedule that often to cashier i'm gonna let them know like i'm not trying to do it more than once a week because i don't want to talk to people like my job right now i hardly talk to anybody external i talk to internal like technicians and stuff like that my co-workers but like i don't really want to be sitting there talking to people and interacting with people like that like so that's why i signed up for logistics and um uh, i have to work there 30 days before they could cross train me as a cashier so i've worked um i want to say i probably work like seven or eight shifts right now and yeah and i'm doing about they give me about 12 hours a week so i mean it's not too bad um the pay rate is 15.50 i don't mind telling y'all that because they actually have it listed on their website um so anybody who goes there can clearly see that you're going to be starting at 15.50 as a, um, a stalker so yeah um so that's the update about my job and yeah um it's just to help supplement you know because i'm not making enough money um at all so I need some more income. So this is kind of to give me a little bit of more stability than just doing DoorDash and Amazon because Amazon has been hella slow. It's so you, I'm really not getting anything. Um, I probably worked my first Amazon for the first time last week sometime, I think. But January, it was terrible. And then DoorDash is inconsistent because you have a lot of downtime. Like, but they, it tells you your dash time and your active time, okay? And so it's like you sitting there and if I'm doing four hours total, but my active time is on like just under two hours and stuff, I don't, you know, and you know, it's just not a consistent kind of thing. But like with me doing this, um, working at the hardware store, I'm guaranteed this set amount of hours and I know and taxes are getting taken out of it. So I kind of have an idea for that week. Okay, this is how much I'm going to make for sure for this week and next week because you get paid every two weeks um so it kind of gives me an idea of like how much doordash and amazon flex i need to do on the side to make to meet any 
bills that I need to pay with that money. Um, so basically, my whole plan is with the hardware job, I am going to use that money to pay my student loans. And all this money is strictly going to be for student loans. Now, let me tell y'all. I don't know about y'all, but Shay had not been paying her bills. Not her student loans. When I say my bills, I haven't been paying my student loans, okay? I owe these people $1,200 right now. So my monthly payment is like four twelve or something like that. I haven't paid January. I haven't paid February. And that's four eight, And then the next payment is March the 8th. And so that's why I'm showing I owe them $1,200 right now. Because I haven't paid January for a million. And I paid, like, I didn't, I didn't pay November late. I paid December late, I believe. So yeah, and um, I have to hurry up and try to get on track because apparently we only have like our grace period to like June or July before it starts showing up delinquent on our account and before they start garnishing your wages. And I ain't got time for nobody garnishing my wages, hell. Barely getting any money as it is. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm just about to go in the house and go say hi to my babies and stuff and then do my little cleaning and then I'm just going to tell y'all the rest of what's going on with me and why i haven't been recording because i really don't feel like recording i have a headache right now and yeah so we're just gonna get into all that so yeah go ahead and stay tuned okay i'll be right back hey y'all so like i said let's go ahead and get to nitty gritty so to make a long story short because i'm eventually gonna tell y'all everything later on but um your girl has been sick i have been dealing with a lot of mucus i have been dealing with um what is it it's like a mild metallic taste in my mouth i've been dealing with constant headaches every single day the last two or three days i have been dealing with itchy eyes um and so basically like probably two weeks ago now i had really bad brain fog and i did not know why but i was miserable it was so uncomfortable like i'm sitting here trying to work and i know what i'm trying to type but when i look up at the screen it's like the words is all jumbled up and I, like everything like i just had major brain brain fog so of course some of you may already know what this is associated with mold okay so first of all um, I already have mold, not in my shower, but I mean, it's one restroom and there's like a shower tub combo and we have another shower. Um, so I'm not going to show y'all that right now. I'll do it later, but it's basically been there since we moved in. I tried to clean it out and then I just gave up. It was like, it's never going to go away just because of the way that the shower is made and they basically should have used another shower. Um, there's also mold in the ceiling because there's constantly like over the years um water damage since we've been in this apartment for two years that had like um one of the videos i told you that was a flood there was one that was in the wall strictly in the restroom there was like a bubble and then it was one that was in our washroom um where the washer and dryer is and it was leaking and it was water everywhere it was water coming from behind the electrical box you know so two leaks in one year it's definitely been more leaks so at this point i'm like not only is there mold in the restroom, there's 50-50 chance that there's mold in the wall because I'm I'm pretty sure that they're not um, removing it and replacing it, you know, all that good stuff. But the major thing is because I do work from home, I'm at home for 18 plus hours a day, right? I spend a good nine hours in this one particular room, okay? So I then found that there was mold in the window and I'm, if I can get a picture, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all a picture. But I have videos of this as well. Um, so, uh, I it was it's terrible. I think I'm going to have to definitely show y'all a picture at some point And definitely show y'all the video when I, when I do an actual video of that. But it was so bad. And then there's, I went in my room, in my bedroom, and there's mold. And then in my, um, my living room, right? So, if y'all haven't seen any of my previous videos, I did get an air purifier a long time ago. Uh, I've had it for over a year now, right? And the air purifier does not help. So, I, instead of putting in a maintenance request, I did call the front office and told them exactly what was going on. And I was like, I don't know what the process is and all this kind of stuff. He basically put in a maintenance ticket and the guy just came out. And he didn't even come out that same day. He came out two days later because it was a Friday when I called. He came out two days later and basically just did what I could do. 
and he just cleaned it with bleach bleach water i guess um even though i read bleach water is not good i think he's supposed to use like vinegar but um after that i'm still having major symptoms like literally this past month i've been having the most sy symptoms um and like I said, the last two days, I've been having, like, itchy eyes upon, like, right upon wake up, just anytime I'm in the house. So now it doesn't feel comfortable for me. And so me and my husband, um, or mostly me because my husband's not here all the time, but, you know, I'm just telling him, like, I cannot do this. Our lease is up April 31st. So at first I was like, before all the symptom stuff, I was like, we're going to renew, okay? We're just going to renew because long term we want to purchase the house. But the sense of symptoms has been getting worse and worse. I was just like, if that, we are about to get the heck up out of here ASAP. So that's why I haven't been, like, really on here because I've been spending my time working my full-time job, putting in OT hours there, working my now part-time job, which I did get, like, I think I got hired the second or third week of January. So I've been working that. I've been doing DoorDash here and there when I can. Um anything that i'm that i can to get caught up on bills but now i have to actually save money to move and you know moving is not cheap um then i, I have two pets so even that the pet fee alone is freaking going to be six hundred dollars because they want you to put down a non-refundable fee and then you have to put down a refundable fee so yeah it's just a lot application fees three to four hundred dollars just to put in an application is ridiculous so that's what i have been working on that's what's been going on that's why i've been in my aid because i literally have been so fatigued that i don't feel like doing anything after work like yesterday i literally clocked out of work and went straight to bed and i slept for like two hours because of the mode and then i'm thinking about previously i'm like bro so i haven't felt this fatigue in a long long time but there was one point in time that I was fatigued, like, every day I would clock out and go to sleep. And I had no energy or time to do anything, not even working on my business. So I haven't even been working on my business that I have. Um, so if you don't know, I do have a business company and craft shop where I do, like, just personalized items and gifts, home decor. I have not worked on that, like, hardly any time because I'm just, like, so tired. And now I'm trying to focus on moving and that whole thing is I was just thinking about it stressful, like packing up all your stuff and going elsewhere is stressful. So yeah, that's the that's the like life update that I have. It's just been very crazy and I'm just like disappointed in the way that they handle handling it because I feel like that these windows definitely need to be replaced. Um, especially when we had like our ice storm in the beginning of January and like the windows, like there was frostbite inside of the window and stuff and so basically what he did was just get rid of the surface stuff but there's still mold in between areas that i can't reach and i know you you basically have to take the window apart um my windows do open a certain way to where i, can, I should be able to get in but i don't know the whole mechanics of windows and stuff but i definitely know there's still mold in certain spots that i just cannot get to and it's affecting my health every day and yeah, so I've gotten to the point where literally, um, as you can see at the beginning of this video, I had to open my windows because I'm just so uncomfortable in my house. It's so weird, and it's like I just want to be out the house. And the thing about it is I have dogs. I have no idea how this is affecting their health. They literally are in this house 24-7, um, you know, except for like when I take them outside, but we're not about to be outside for six hours a day, so it's like they don't have a choice. So it's like if it's making me feel this way, I'm also considering the fact that, like, how is it affecting the health of my babies? They're very young. I have a two-year-old, and then I have a one-year-old. They're young, and they're here 24-7, so now it's just, I'm counting down the days until April 31st, so I could just get out of here, and, yeah, so, you know, if y'all got any tips for me, just let me know, because this is a very difficult time for me right now, and my main focus, like, is to get out of this apartment um like i had this whole planner and everything of all the videos that i want to do for y'all but i just like mentally physically emotionally am not in the space to do that and for so for whatever reason today i was just like yeah let me just record something today because i know it's been a while 
And since I was at the house, I think that I had a little bit of more energy, but I have constant headaches every day, all day. Friday, I had a really bad headache, a really bad earache. And so I don't know. It's like, I don't know if mold caused ear infections, but I've been getting what I think is a lot of ear infections. I've confirmed it twice. I've had like two ear infections within the last three years. I, I feel like that's excessive. Like, but you know. Um, yeah, so that's basically the whole spiel on my whole where I've been, where I'm about to go. So I may be doing like a moving video and stuff and I'm just praying that everything works out because my credit score is not the best right now. And yeah, so I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just like trying to save as much money as I can because I'm, I know that like with my credit score being the way it is, that they're probably going to ask for like extra money. So I do apologize for just not being on here, but I have to do what I have to do to be healthy and happy, and then I can make more videos for y'all. So if you watched this far, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Let me know anything that y'all want to see from me, and I really hope that April comes and goes really fast, and that I can get on here and make more videos for y'all.